Welcome back to the BetMGM studio and Titans All Access. Reminding you, as we will throughout the course of this show, Saturday night's Titans-Jags game in Jacksonville is a win and you're in game. The winner of this game is the AFC South champion and will be the number four seed in the AFC playoffs starting next weekend. This is not the first win and you're in situation for the Titans. It's actually happened now four times. But I wanted to bring in someone who had been involved in one of these before to talk about some of the dynamics of a win and you're in game. So this week for our talking Ball presented by Duncan, I bring in one of my very favorite Titans, Bo Scaife. Bo, it is great to have you with us on Titans All Access. I'm glad to be back with you guys and talking with you guys, and I appreciate you guys checking up on me. So let's set the scene for your win and your in game. It's the last game of the season in 2007. You're playing at Indianapolis against the 13-2 Colts. They've already won the division, so they don't have anything to play for, but they promised they're going to play their starters. You have to sit around the hotel all day waiting for this game, win and you're in, pressure against Peyton Manning and the Colts. How do you handle that day leading up to the game? It's business as usual. Go out there, focus, play as hard as you can, and, and come out with the results you want. And I think, you know, when people hear the word playoffs, you know, there's a lot of things that come with that. So there's probably a little extra motivation. Titans get the ball first, go straight down the field, score a touchdown, take a 7 nothing lead. And guess what? Indianapolis is playing their starters. you got to feel great at this point. You're like, hey, man, we're off to a great start. And, and that's exactly how we felt. But, you know, it's the NFL. For us at that time, we needed our defense to play well. So, you know, obviously they got Jim Sorge in there. You know, let's not let him be any kind of pro bowler on this day. The Colts take out their number one units. They take out Peyton Manning and put in Jim Sorge at quarterback. But the Titans start losing fumbles. And all of a sudden, you find yourself behind 10 to 7 in this win and you're in game. What, what's it like on the sideline at this moment? Pissed. Like, why, <laughs> why, why are we doing this to ourselves? And I think, you know, that's like a universal feeling for everybody. Like, why are we doing this to ourselves? That year and, you know, all the years I was at a Titan, we loved making things hard for ourselves and nothing ever came easy. We had a, you know, scratch and claw for every little bit. And it did work out in this particular game. Vince Young is the Titans quarterback and he's playing well, but he gets injured and has to come out of the game. He's replaced by Kerry Collins, who takes you guys home. What do you remember about playing with Kerry? You know, Kerry Collins was a guy that really helped those games. So, you know, I love Kerry Collins. You know, Kerry loved to throw me the ball. So we always had a, a, a silent but understood relationship where he would look at me, he would give me the head nod, and I understand exactly what he was saying. So Kerry was always a, a huge asset and a pickup for the Titans. All right, Boscape. So you have won a game in a win in your end game. What advice would you give to the current Titans players about what they need to do Saturday night in Jacksonville? These are long seasons that you work your ass off for. You know, you spend a whole year training just for these moments. Obviously, you know, you can't make mistakes. That's the thing that kills everything in big games is mistakes, turnovers. In big games like that, you need your players to, and your big play guys to, to make those plays and, and get you over that hump. And the bottom line, what this job is all about is making it to the postseason, and that's all that counts Saturday night in Jacksonville. Man, Mike, that's where everybody gets a raise when we go to the postseason, so it's not just about us, right? We need everybody needs a little bit of extra change in their pocket, and the playoffs allow us to do that, and you're one step closer to that, you know, coveted Super Bowl ring, which I think only 3% of players and coaches win in the NFL. So we're used to beating these guys. So let's just go out there and continue what we've already been doing. Bo Scaife, you are the best. Love you. One of my favorite Titans. Thanks for being with us to reminisce and talking ball presented by Duncan. All right, Mike, man. Love you guys, man. See you soon.